<laughs> Marge. Grant. Coming to you live from the very dark office. Of the office. Very dark office. We are your independent, independent Sensi, Sensi consultants. consultants. And tonight... <sighs> what are we drinking? Well... You don't know. I can't. She's got berry lemonade. <laughs> and I've got fruit punch. Ooh! Yeah, the new punch. cherry limeade. Yes. <laughs> yep. I have berry lemonade. She said... Have you had that one? I don't know. Probably. I sneak into the fridge every now and again and grab okay how does your oh fruit punch she's fruit yeah. punch is just good it's just fantastic but i have cheers to heroes but it doesn't say it on here i no. just know by the by this little wrap it's the cheers to heroes edition mm -hmm. i have the special edition we'll taste it so you can tell them you, you're doing the commercial thing where they talk about it see she done shook it up it is a carbonated beverage. It is carbonated. Watch the lid go flying like a champagne bottle. Whew. Wouldn't that be it? Yes, it would. I'd have a stroke. Get caught up in the fan. And then who knows where it'll end up. Have you had that one? That's really good. You want to try it? Yeah. Have you had it? No. Berry lemonade. No. Mm -hmm. Berry lemonade. I, I think I might have said limeade. I might have... That's Mess good. Berry it's very, lemonade. Very carbonated taste thing. I don't know. It's nice. That's really nice. Okay. So I have my berry lemonade. Zero sugar. I actually did read on here where it has fruit juice, I thought I saw. Because I had one of these earlier. Anyways, a reading from the good book. A year of positive thinking. Today is June the 15th. Tomorrow it may not matter. What seems important today in this moment may not matter at all tomorrow. What are some experiences that caused you a lot of worry but eventually turned out to be much less significant than you'd expected? Write them down on a piece of paper titled, Things That Don't Really Matter That Much. When a new situation feels bigger than you, return to this list for a dose of much needed perspective. I'm gonna practice that tonight. Oh, she's gonna write things down. I have nothing to worry about. I don't adult. <laughs> I just live. Oh. I'm just kidding. Okay. okay. So tonight we're talking about the Bring Back My Bars. <clears throat> Woo! Which we have a list, but we only have five in our possession to smell five in our stash so we will be telling you what the other ones smell like and i'm pretty sure paper. we can tell you which ones on this list were things that we would have liked one of us or the other or both of us mm -hmm. and i honestly when i look at this i don't see anything that i would have been i would have thought mm, never i will say Part of why we decided to do this video was because of the mm. controversy around Palo Santo. I've never smelled this bar. I think that I liked this fragrance. Okay. And so I thought we should. It came back and everybody was like, why is it back? It's awful. But I don't know because I've not smelled it ever. So we're going to do the old snifferoonie test. going to smell it first. Give me the first one. Sure. You want to read it? Sure. I just wanted to look on here really quick and just see if there was anything that I can ever recall saying, oh no. The last, There's... the last time my wish came out, which we have one of those somewhere, I think, it was like I got it and it kind of smelled like licorice a little bit, but it was really sweet and I enjoyed it very, very much that I ordered, I think, six of them, and I wish that Scentsy Club was a thing back then because it would be in my club. But I could add it to my club now. And so, I was just going to say, so let's talk about that really quick. While we're going through these, if there's something on here that you think that you might like... Or and, you've used before and didn't know it came back out. And you think that you want to have it post June 30th, add it to your Scentsy Club. Create a Scentsy Club if you don't already have one. Put it in your club because guess what? You can always ditch it 
you don't have to keep it for the rest of your life, but it's available for the rest of your life if you get it in your club before the end of the month. Mm -hmm. So that was the other reason why we wanted to make sure that we got on here. Do you want to talk about the perks of club real quick? Um, once you get to $30, you get free shipping, right? Is it free shipping? Oh, great. Or is it the temp? I don't have my phone. It's right there. Oh, geez. Let's talk about Scentsy Club. And I can't, I feel like we go over it all the time and then I get confused between the $60 is like a half off and 10% off or something and there's a lot of perks, so I can't really keep up. Okay. So create a subscription and choose your products. So today we're talking specifically about the wax because it is bring back my bar month. And so we wanted to make sure that we reminded everyone that you have an opportunity to add any of these bars to your club. If you don't, if you already have a club, you can add them. If you don't have a club, you can create one. Choose your shipping schedule. Do you want it every month, every other month or quarterly? Take advantage of club exclusive perks such as always get my bar. If we dis if we discontinue a Scentsy bar that's in your scubs subscription. <laughs> she knew what I meant. Scrubscription. We'll keep making it just for you as long as you keep it in your order. Club perks, always get my bar. 10% discount on orders over $30. Get an additional item at half price on orders over $60. Okay. So I was wrong on the shipping. Well, kind of. Because remember, shipping is $8 up to $79.99, mm -hmm. and then it's 10%. So it's kind of one of those things that once you're at a certain amount, the shipping that you're paying is that 10% discount. Mm -hmm. However you want to look at it. I do weird math in my head all the time. Uh, let's see, where was I? Get an additional item at half price on orders over 60. Customizable shipping schedule. Set it and forget it. So put a card on file, schedule your shipping, and you will get... You don't get a reminder. Do you get an email reminder? I don't get an email reminder if I I'm supposed to. Don't I don't think, think so. I do. No. You just kind of have to remember. Or... No, that's the newsletter. Yeah. Whiff box. You can add to your Scentsy Club and get it for $15 if you have a club subscription of $60 or, 10 or more. Off or 10% off. Or 10% off. So, if you want to pick something else for a half off. Yeah. So anyways. There goes her phone on the floor. You should have seen it look like she just caught a fish and unhooked it. And went all over. <laughs> all right. So that's club. So we're going to smell. Palo Santo. Do you want me to read you the notes or you just want to smell it and tell us what you think? I'll read it and smell. Right. You're going to read it and I'm gonna smell. I'm going to read it. Please hold while she this reads it and smells. This is a very old bar. It's not even a bring back. No. It was one time available. She's going to have a mess on her hands. It's sweating. It's very hot here. It smells like tobacco. She must it like Smells that. like a cigarette. <laughs> Oh. A little bit of cinnamon or some kind of spice. You want to smoke it? I like it. I, it's got that musky fragrance to it that I like. It's got a sweet, musky smell. Mm -hmm. So we've heard people talk all the gamut about how awful this is. I believe that this was a fragrance that I actually liked. Now, we are not warming it. We're just smelling it cold. So there's mm -hmm. a difference. We all know that. Palo Santo wood, charred cedar bark, and teak are the ultimate dream boat blend. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> smells like a cigarette to me. <laughs> or burnt, whatever. A charred? Charred, yes. A charred cigarette. Charred, yeah. Charred cigarette, bark, and teak are the ultimate dream boat blend. Nice. All right. It's not bad. It's not awful. I seriously believe that it was a fragrance that I like. Would it put in my club? Probably not. But would I warm it to give it a chance? And then probably be very mad that I didn't add it to my club? Probably. But it's not one that would be all the time warming. I don't think. Alright. Anywho. 
So another fan favorite that's on the list is Sweet Pea and Vanilla. And for any of you that are a Bath and Body Works person, you know that Sweet Pea and Vanilla was one of their fragrances. I don't know if it still Where's is. Where's it on there? Right here by my oh, thumb. Oh, I couldn't see it. I'm hiding it from her. I'm keeping a secret. secret. <laughs> So sweet pea and vanilla, ambiance of raspberries and sweet pea petals with vanilla. So any of you that like that sweet vanilla floral, this is yours. This is your bar. And again, these have been stashed away. They're in our vault. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we have a vault. <laughs> It doesn't give it the justice cold. It definitely smells like Bath and Body Works sweet pea and vanilla. But it doesn't give it the same justice cold as it does warmed. That's what I think. No. But that sweet pea is there. Mm hmm It's almost like a bitter and then you have this sweet of the vanilla. Do you, do you want to smell it again? I'm going to smell the back. That floral comes out at yeah. me. Yeah. I like it. Did you already read it? Mm hmm Oh, okay. Yep. I need a pen. You gonna make notes? No, I'm crossing off what we've read so that we don't go back and, <laughs> and do All it right. again. All right, spring forward. This was a scent of the month for, oh, April last year? What was year the before? warmer with it? Do you remember? I do. It was a spring form. Wasn't it like a spring warmer? It, it, it had, had a sleeve with, it was the white cement base. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did it have the birds? I thought it had flowers. No, who knows? So let me see if I can get these right. Oh gosh. Yucky? Mm hmm. I can't even guess. It just smells dirty. See, I smell soapy and clean. Smells dirty to you? I don't know. There's something. I didn't see. Smell I don't. The top. Yeah, I was gonna say it has no fragrance up here, but on the back side, I get kind of a citrusy, sweet fragrance. I get citrus, but it smells like. No, I, would, I wouldn't say dirt. It smells earthy with citrus. Okay, which so, makes sense. Spring forward. If sunshine had a secret, it would be this burst of Italian bergamot. Raspberry jam and cedar wood. Well, there's the earthy. There's her earthiness. But I don't know. Hmm. Let's see if we can guess the notes in this one. Well, this one's very, very, very leaky. That's what happens when your wax is a little old. Oh boy. I spill it everywhere. I think that we have ocean washer whiffs in our laundry room. I'm pretty confident we do. And possibly even laundry liquid. That is a sweaty bar. Mm -hmm. Does it smell good? It smells clean. Don't touch it to your nose. I love that fragrance. It smells clean. So it's a, it's a nice fragrance. It's very good in the laundry. It's perfect in the laundry. Yeah. You ready? Yeah, I don't even know what notes it would be. Like salt? Cool and refreshing aquatic notes deepened with water lilies and ocean breezes. Mm. No? No salt. No salt. Nope. Are you salty? Maybe water lily. Water always, lily. Always salty. She's always salty. Water lily is what I was smelling. Water lily. But that's kind water of salty funny lily. That it would be in that bar. So Coffee Tree is the only bar that I've ever tasted. <laughs> Because I was dared to. So I did it. Um, What's the problem? Coffee Tree is a very, 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 very good bar. Very, very. It's a solid bar. Oh, gosh. It smells like chocolate and coffee. Okay, so she loves her coffee. Mm. Like, she can drink a cup of coffee right before bed. She loves her coffee. She can nice. drink... A pot of Mr. Coffee Coffee? Um, what was your coffee it was, maker? Uh, well, it was, it was a Mr. Coffee Coffee Pot, I think. But it was always Folgers or... What was the other one? The Blue Can. Blue Can. 
Folgers or what's the blue can coffee? Starts with an M. Maxwell House? Yes. Shut the front door. Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. And I'd let it sit all night. And then I would have the darkest, tariest coffee in the morning. And it was the best. Get to know us. I love tar coffee. Here, smell that. <laughs> and I like the smell of tar. I wonder we're besties. That smells so nice. It is it's a, a sweet, like she said, it's got that chocolatey coffee. Cream. I actually remember when this came out, it, there was a couple different coffee fragrances, and I really liked this one. I think I had a million of them at one time. Yeah. But Coffee Tree is bold and sophisticated. Wake up to the rich aroma of freshly roasted coffee beans. It's very nice. I like that one a whole big bunches. So those were the bars we had to smell for you. That we knew where they were. Yeah, we've got a lot of bars. <laughs> So, we have an abundance of bars right now. Now we're just going to talk through the other 20. Because there's 25, right? I don't know. I counted 19. But anyways, let's go. Ready? Mm-hmm. Do you remember this? Yeah, I don't think I cared for it much. I'm not a floral. I'm not a See, big, and I'm a floral, a sweet, light, I like musky. a light rose, the Simply Rose. You liked that. Grandfather. You, yeah. And she would say it smelled like a flower shop. Yep. But the real roses. Blue hyacinth. Florals from heaven. Pure blue hyacinth is all about the flower power. It's floral. People like the florals. I like most fragrances. I don't know. I think a strong floral will give me a headache. See, and I just love strong. I, anything that's strong, that's clean, I like it. Yeah. I like it a lot. Candy Crave. This one was a sweet one. This one was, <clears throat> still is available in the soap for the children, I believe, in the catalog. Is it? Yeah. It's a sweet, I mean, it's candy, so it's Here, I'll let you read and I'll sweet, look it up. clean. Did you already read it? No, ma'am. Just the sweet stuff. Raspberry, sherbet, cotton candy, and fluffy marshmallow. Those are three very sugary things that I would not shove in one pile. Body wash. So there, huh? Yep. So yeah, sugar, sugar, sugar. Sugar, sugar. Sweet, 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 sweet. Mm Mm-hmm. You that like one. that You one. take those nope. two. Okay. Nope. French Kiss. I didn't care for this one either. I... You did. You like it. I did? I remember you like that one. Okay. Sweet like Fig, purple. tenderly caressed by coconut pulp, exotic cedar, and caramel. I'm surprised you... Did. I like the cedar, for sure. The cedar does... So the caramel will tame down the cedar, but it's not like... It wasn't enough for you? No, not to... She likes caramel. She loves her some caramel. Yeah, I really like it. Fresh cut daisies. It's okay. It's not. It's not like a. It wasn't something that I'm like. Oh yeah. No. I, it, it I was don't nice, recall. But it. It's not. Like on the top of my list. Okay, so fresh cut daisies is a meadow awash in summer blooms, freshly cut grass. Remember fresh cut grass. Hmm. Mm. And clover with daisies, buttercups, and ivy. Ivy. Hmm. I don't think ivy has a smell. Maybe if you boil it or juice it or get the oils. <laughs> I don't know. Really? I, I'm figuring. I remember we had ivy growing in our yard when well, I was if a you, kid. If you like scrape the, what is it, the stalk or the... The stem? Yeah. It has really? a smell. Mm-hmm. She's more adventurous than I am. I don't know. Okay, Honeymoon Hideaway. I it's know that I have one. car bars. I have a customer that absolutely loves Honeymoon Hideaway. So, Little Miss Angela, it's available if it's you want to stock up. It's a white bar, and it smells fresh and clean. It's nice. Escape to a secluded retreat of dew kiss lily and tart sweet kiwi shaded by lush coconut palm. Nice. It's, it is I a think nice we smell. have some laundry in this too. We do. If I'm not mistaken. I, I believe we do. 
Okay, here's one that I love. And I don't know why I don't have any bars of this at all. Probably because you used it. Jet Set Go. We had this in laundry it at one time. It smelled so good. <laughs> so, so, so good. Jet off to a balmy tropical paradise of Brazilian orange, jungle papaya, and island vanilla. It's very good. Fantastic. I remember this in laundry like nobody's business. Loved it. There's a couple laundry fragrances that I really like. And I'm actually surprised we don't have something in the laundry room of this. Oh, I'm sure we probably might. Maybe. Just didn't find it for All this right. video. I'm surprised we don't have Kahika Hula in stock. I remember seeing it and we, it, it sold. It sold. Mm -hmm. Somebody got the Kahika Hula. Yep. It's a light tropical fragrance. Say aloha with exotic passion fruit, mango, and papaya. It's very light, but it's nice and fresh. So papaya, papaya tastes really good. Mango's really good. Mango's good if you get a good mango. Yeah, that's true. Never had papaya. I've had it in like a mixed fruit, like a mixed tropical fruit. Mm. But I'm trying to think. They don't have like strong fragrance. They have more of a strong flavor. Okay. So I'm trying to figure out. Hmm. Yeah. All right. You ready? Go for it. Lemon Thyme Berry. It's a good one. I remember this one. I don't remember the strength of it. Do you? So when it, when you first start warming it, it's very strong. But it's one of those ones that you get used to. Really fast. Mm -hmm. just that lemon of. is a, it's a heavy, heavy hitter, but the rest just kind of, it's nice. It's yeah. subtle. It's not one of the. So lemon thyme barely. <laughs> it's barely lemony. <laughs> <laughs> you should get it. Oh, okay. I think I was thinking about my berry drink. We're practicing. <laughs> Lemon thyme berry. Mm. I'll make up my own fragrances. Lemon thyme berry, sparkling lemonade, and strawberry sprinkled with crushed thyme. That sounds like something we need to make. And then add a little bit of vodka to it. Mm -hmm. And then gradually. That white sauce. Yeah, that white sauce. <laughs> you get sauced. I don't remember this one. I don't either. Okay, so love story. If you have love story, if it's one of your favorites, if you have comments, share with us because we are curious. I feel like by the name, it would smell perfumey. Okay. Innocent pink jasmine. That's perfumey. Sweet. And sensual amber embraced by luscious dark chocolate. Oh. Maybe not perfume. We might have to get that just to see because we don't have enough bars. Yeah. Well, we don't have that one. Okay. You do these. Oh. You don't want to read tonight? Are you not in the reading mood? No, I've had to read all day. She's had to read all day. She's a storyteller. She's staring at things all She goes day. to work and tells stories. <laughs> yeah. A a, I, I, on the loudspeaker. <laughs> the intercom. Everybody listen to me. Come back to the flooring desk for story time. Story time. Let's gather around. Yeah. All right. Lucky in love. Everybody. Everybody. So what's it smell like? Everybody. I don't remember. It's Victoria's Secrets. Lucky in love. <laughs> love secret. Is that what it? What is it called? It's Victoria's Secret. Yeah. Love is it, spell. Lo, love spell. Everybody. Everybody loves it lucky in love. Just like love spell. Just like it. You want a love spell? Get yourself some lucky in love. Sweet bouquet of mandarin bergamot and orange with hints of peaches and berries. I want dessert. It just smells like love spell. If you've ever smelled that. If you love it, you'll love it. I can't stop yawning. She's sleepy. Oh, All right, baby. mulberry bush. Ring around the mulberry bush. <laughs> That's what I think about the ring around the rosies. Ring around the mulberry bush. Sweet mulberry. Accented with bitter sweet orange peel. Have you peels. smelled that one? No, but I have okay. somebody that wants a six pack of it. Okay. My wish, I remember I did like my wish. That's the one that I really enjoyed. 
That kind of had a hint of licorice. Most you sweet. talked about that when we first opened. Did I? Yep. Okay. I think, right? It might have been before the video, but oh. I'm not sure. We were having a chitter chatter. It was very nice. <laughs> hmm. A confection of earthy fig, sweet violet, and playful marshmallow will have you wishing for more. I don't know where I get licorice, but I get a, right there on the back end. It's, there's the licorice. Oodles of orange. What did people mix oodles of orange with? I don't know, but I don't care for it. <laughs> so there you have it. Somebody used to get it in a scent pack, and I did not like it at all. I think I had it in a scent pack. In something. I don't remember. I like that, it when it's the buddy clips. I like it that way. Oh. But everything else. It smelled is... like tang. In the buddy yes. clip, it smelled like tang. But it's just too much any other way. Yeah. I mean, if we can mix it with something, but I don't know what you would even mix it with. Oodles of orange? It's straight up like oranges. Orange. Yeah. I don't know what we could. Maybe a strawberry or something? I'm not sure. Maybe. Lemon thyme berry? <laughs> That's too much. Hmm. Oodles of orange. Kids will love this sweet citrusy scent punched up by fresh pineapple, crisp papaya, mango blossoms, and ripe bunches of tropical berries. Yum. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Yes. Rockin' Rubery. Blueberry. <laughs> Rockin' Ruby Raz. Thank now, you. This one was a. a it. It was, it was a in the favorite. kids' line. Mm -hmm. My sister loves it very much, and I'm not really sure why it ever went away. It's one of those fruity, strong summer hitters that you could mix with uh, a sorbet fragrance, mm. like um, lemon sorbet. No, the what's the rainbow? Or, rainbow sherbet, like is that what it was? No. You have a chest pain. I feel like I got a burp. Maybe. Oh, good heavens. But it feels heavy. She has a heavy much. heaviness. She's fine. We don't need to call emergency yes. services. <laughs> if I fall down, maybe a little bit. Anywho, go ahead and read it. She's stressing me out. Rockin' Ruby Raz. Gosh, I almost messed that up. Again? Again. No. A fruity blend of juicy orange, fresh strawberry, and sweet candy glaze all wrapped up in one perfect fragrance it's a very nice one it really is like i should probably put that in my club i'll circle it for you thank you strawberry swirl strawberry swirl was another scent of the month it is i feel like it has vanilla in it and i didn't care for it much it was a scent of the month and i think i liked it i was, think there was strawberry but that it was, it was a strawberry creaminess to it yes so, frozen strawberry swirl whipped with frothy milk and vanilla. Which reminds me, just FYI. What? Our guest, she now has a frother. Yeah? <laughs> I'm not surprised. <laughs> Did she, the same one? I think so. All right. Summer Soleil. I don't remember this one, but I think it's floral. I've had this one. I cannot remember if I liked it or not. Okay. I think I've had every single one of these fragrances. I'm pretty sure I've had every single one. I've tried every single one. I just don't remember some. There are some that left a mark in my laundry room or in my heart. But Summer Soleil is pineapple and coconut milk. Top fluffy vanilla marshmallow. Okay, I was wrong on the floral and that sounds like it would smell really nice. So what's really funny, when y'all think of a marshmallow, do you think of something fluffy and yummy? Do you? For a marshmallow, no. What do you think of? Well, there's only one thing I think of when I think okay, of Okay, but take that out of your head. S'mores, chocolate. Okay, get that out of your head. What? What do you think of, mar when you think of marshmallow, marshmallow cream, so, okay. Well, I'm not very familiar with marshmallow cream unless it's in the Amish peanut butter with peanut butter. Okay, so. when I think of a marshmallow, I think of something fluffy and cloudy and probably really yummy, but truth be told, marshmallows are horrible. They have absolutely, they're just a ball of sugar, unless- You burn them over a fire- You burn them over- delicious. 
entire, and they're amazing. That I like to eat the outside and then retoast it. Ashy, mm. whatever charcoal. I don't it's know. It's good for your teeth <laughs> and your intestines. Love, love, love me a burnt marshmallow. Love, but there is also this person who makes these s'more. We call them the schmoo. Delicious hot schmoo. Dessert. And she makes her own marshmallow topping. It's so good. Next month, we will share with you. Mm -hmm. Because it is heaven. Yep. It's nice. Heaven. So, anyways. And then, I will say this. We have a frother for our coffee. For yeah. our vanilla creamer. That makes our creamer taste like marshmallow cream. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. It's good. It is so delicious. Okay, back with the eyeballs. Watermelon mint. That is one I do not remember at all. I, don't I can tell you either. the drink that I had the other day. I thought it was watermelon limeade. limeade. Yep. It had a mint taste. Yep. And I didn't get it when we were doing our video that night, but the next day when I was drinking, I'm like, Oh my gosh, there's mint in this. I think I sent her a text mm -hmm. message. I, I was telling I her, said it. oh my gosh. I had said it in the video. Yeah, and I didn't get it that night. Nope. The next day. you had that other drink too. Yeah. Oh man, it was delicious. But I don't remember this bar. This is one bar I don't remember. Uh, I think these two, I, I'm not 100% sure. Watermelon patch. I don't remember 100%. Oh, okay, but okay. let's finish up. With watermelon, watermelon mint, a chilled slice of sweet watermelon sprinkled with bracing fresh mint makes a refreshing summer treat. Okay. Watermelon limeade in our sparkling ice drink. That is this right here. Yeah. Not be. even kidding. It that is be. the description. Now watermelon patch, it is so much so that it's four words. The, to describe it. Sweet vine ripened watermelon. It's delicious. <laughs> It is. It's very, 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 very nice. Was it long lasting? I feel like it was. Yeah. And I feel like it would be a good mix with a lemon or uh, cocoa lime Ooh. or cocoa lime. Any other, maybe camu camu even. Really? Mm hmm. Nice. Anything tropical, fruity. White tea and cactus. Delicious. Guaranteed. You can find that in our laundry room right now because we've got some. Yep. White tea and cactus. Oh. <laughs> My brain is like. Bruh. You're moving too fast. Yeah. A clean, crisp, and refreshing floral mix with green notes. I don't know what green smells like, but it smells good in my laundry. So that fragrance is a light, clean. Oh, definitely sweet. smells green. It's which the bar's a light fantastic. green color, but yeah, it's good. It's in laundry, different. it is fantastic. Fan. We've had it in counter clean also. Yes, we have, and we liked it. And it was very nice because it left the room smelling fresh, clean, and a yeah. little bit sweet. Not too sweet, but there's some sweet in there. And last but not least, wild black cherry. A sweet and juicy black cherry like an old-fashioned black cherry soda. And that is 100%, but for me, it's too heavy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it might be the color, but that cherry is heavy. Heavy. Mm -hmm. Nice. But if you mix it with a vanilla, it might be good. Yeah. Kind of like black raspberry vanilla, but yeah. mix vanilla bean buttercream with one of those. And I don't think I'm a big black You're raspberry not. vanilla person. But I think mixing, because that one's so strong, <clears throat> I think it would be more cherry of versus the vanilla, where in the black raspberry vanilla, I think it's very even. Hmm. So it would just tame down the cherry a bit. Interesting. Maybe. So those are your bring back my bars. Remember, yeah. you can get one bar for $6, three bars, three. For 17 or a six pack for 30. You have until June 30th to add these to your club. Do not forget if there's something on here that you love, think you might love, add it to a club, get it. And if you don't like it, ditch it. 
We just updated one club this week and we ditched all the current fragrances that are available as well as a couple Christmas fragrances. Okay. So there you have it. Yeah. Share with us what your favorites are. Share with us what you're warming and what have you smelled? Yeah. What are some of your favorites and what are some that you don't like and why? Tell us why you don't like them. Mm -hmm. If you are one of those people that doesn't like Palo Santo. What is it about it that you don't like? Yeah. Tell us. We've seen so many comments about mm -hmm. Palo Santo. and it's, it's like there's like a joke going around. Yeah. And when it became a bring back, people were like, oh my gosh. People were really disgusted. I don't know why. Like spring forward to me is should not have made the cut. But everybody's palette's different. Yeah. So it's kind of Very cool. true. Well, with that. If you like what you saw, don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe if you aren't one of our followers already and make sure that you hit that bell for notifications so that you know when we've loaded a new video. Yep, yep. Thanks for joining us. We hope you have a fantastic evening. Good night, everybody. God bless. <laughs>